Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and notifications button for all the good stuff we've got coming. Uh, can we, Cassandra? Can we freeze? I, I'm gonna go stand in front of some books too. I want to be. I want to look smart. I love it. I love it. I love it. Like I have art and culture in my life. <laughs> when I saw Leah's background, I was like, I know there's some books around here somewhere in this apartment. <laughs> I'm like, I dang, I didn't too. put my books in my shelves yet over there, you know. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay. I'm just teasing. I got I'm a Shakespeare teasing. book right. back there, but you can't see it. <laughs> see? <laughs>
some years later. Um, and I can't remember the years. I just remember Beyonce single ladies was out during the time. So you guys have to help me out. Like I said, I'm almost 50, but defiance was one of those, those great shows. And then, um, I also did a show called between men and cattle with the incomparable council Carvel. I'm from Detroit and council is a Detroit legend. And I had seen him perform before and just to be able to work with him and to be able to call him a friend. Um, it's still difficult for me to think about coming to the rep to see a show now, knowing that council won't be there. Um, but yeah, all that to say, I, I grew up at the Detroit Repertory Theater and it is home for me and I love the place and the people. So, so um, Bernard, you were studying theater at Michigan State? No, I'm an, I have a communications and advertising degree. And one of my okay. advertising instructors liked that I had acted out a storyboard for a product I was trying to sell and suggested that I audition for a play at Michigan State. And I did. And then the journey began. And I did two shows at State. And, and you know, like I said, I saw my children, my Africa at the rep and just had to had to be a part of it in some way. Wow. That was, yeah. That's how you started your career uh, i really think it was barbara busby though i think barbara went to bat for me because you know like i said keegan michael key all these people are like trained actors and i'm there with mascara and tape with my eye kind of held up like this and you know i i was committed to the character but <laughs> I, you know i i didn't have i didn't think i had the chops to to to, to do it so i think barbara was instrumental in in, in assisting me then and throughout my whole time at the rep any show that I did yeah. 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 You and I have both been kind of um, self-deprecating in a way with regard to our our, our, our our skills or talent but I will tell you like yeah. Cecilia is an amazing combination of technical and creative whereas I feel like I bring a pretty good tech uh, creative element but I'm gonna drop a line every night if I don't read the script before the show Cecilia never misses a line ever for a three or four month run. You know what I mean? So I, you know, you deserve credit for that sister. Cause I swear, I know sometimes I, I put some uh, angels of limnos lines all up in yellow man, whatever, you know, just they would lose track. I did not. But I, I would always, I would always bring it back around. And by the time I brought it back around, Cecilia would, she would catch it. She was like, okay, I see what you're doing. All right. All right. So we were, we're Bernard, like a see, you still be a Bernard. Like see, he can't help it. He can't help it. <laughs> well, you know that's yeah. Great times. Uh, Great times. And good, good memories with Leah and 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 with that cold, that cold, cold garage across the street. Is that still oh. where you do the rehearsals? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So many memories in there. Me and Seth and me and Leah and whomever else and Cecilia and whomever else I was working with. So. Just, just, yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's one of those things I, I, I know that this is being recorded, but it really is one of those things where I'm from Detroit. I'm, I'm from Detroit and to, and to be a part of that. And, you know, particularly in this time after what we're seeing right now, I want to be honest, like to see the fact that Bruce and Barbara and D and, and, and everybody else. I just was so taken aback by these folks willing to 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 hold it down in that neighborhood and keep keep it keep it going. Yeah. Whereas, you know, to yeah. be honest, my people thought of being like, no, no, I'm moving out to Bloomfield. You know, what I mean, like, and so I was struck by that. And in a way, they imparted to me a sense of duty and service to community by just staying there and offering the community a preview to see the show before it actually went went full scale live, and you know, offering. Uh, discounts to churches to come in. I mean, just all of that. Like, if I really feel really? like the Detroit rep has always been about community and not yes. about profit or, or ego or in any of those things that you would, that you would think a business would be about. So I think that needs to be mentioned that the Detroit rep is more than just a theater. And so I think that's it, why, you know, I, I become so emotional when I talk about it because I've done other plays now since, and it's always, you know, I, you know, I'm always like, yeah, I'm ensemble at the rep. And, you know, I ain't been there in like 10 years. <laughs> so by Detroit, yeah. I claim Detroit rep is my home. So me too. Yeah, I think that's me too. really important to say. Anything that you're able to gather from this interview is just thank you. Thank you to Bruce and Barbara and everyone there at the rep. And um, 
you know, uh, it really is home. I would stay with my, my paternal grandmother when I would come to Detroit to do, to do shows wherever I was. I would always have a home with my grandmother. And she passed from coronavirus this past April. So, you know, Detroit and the rep and what it means to be a part of that community, it'll never leave me. It'll never leave me. I, I have a funny story of my grandmother. Uh, if anybody knew my grandmother, she was beautiful and brash and sassy. And there was a fundraiser one night at the Detroit rep and she came to see me in Yellow Man and she had come several times. So, you know, she was a regular and Barbara and everybody knew her by sight. And she was eating some of the uh, hors d'oeuvres that were in the lobby for the patrons that had paid, you know, for the fundraiser. And Bruce or someone said to her, you know, Miss so those, those hors d'oeuvres for, for the, for the uh, guests, the patrons. And she, without taking a second beat, stuffed two meatballs in her mouth and said, with the food in her mouth, what do you want me to do? Put it back? And if you knew my... <laughs> So there she is. There she is with a diamond, diamond band, beautifully painted red nails, silk blouse, heels. You knew my grandmother, a beautiful woman. So, yes. you know, like I said, all of those stories just are a part of who I am from the rap. And when she said, what do you want me to do? Put it back with a mouthful of meatballs. That story lives in infamy in my family. I mean, at first we were embarrassed, but I think I actually told it at her funeral. I mean, she, yeah. So please, 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 if nothing <laughs> You knew my grandmother, Leah. You met my grandmother before. So Cecilia, you too. So if, if nothing else, please, you know, I wanted to be imparted that the Detroit rep is so much about more than just plays. It's about community. It really is. Community. So thank you.